How you guys doing? It's Black Limited X here. And before we get started with the video, I just want to say that any product used in this video, if you plan on buying and using it, please do it safely. I do not want to see anybody end up hurt or in trouble legally. Thank you. How's it going, everybody? It's Black Limited X here. And today we have a brand new video for you guys. It's going to be fun. We are doing a review on the Tetra Commander. And we're going to see how it performs. We're going to see how it handles in the truck. And we're just going to have fun driving out there today. Truck, let's go ahead and get it started up. The lock. Beautiful every time. And like I said, we're gonna be doing a review on the Pedal Commander. As you see, we got my partner Crime in the back. Say hi, baby. <laughs> All right, so those of you who don't know, the Pedal Commander is essentially a throttle response controller. It increases or decreases the throttle response when you get when you press your foot on the accelerator. Um, it has four different modes and eight different sensitivity settings in those modes, giving you a total of 36 settings. So that is really nice that they have a lot of customization in getting it just the way you want it. Um, so for those modes, you have Eco, City, Sport, and Sport Plus. In Eco mode, it's more of a environmentally friendly driving setting. Um, it, it takes into account your fuel mileage. Um, the throttle response in that mode is very delayed, um, but not so much where you feel like you, you can't drive in it. Um, it actually is nice to drive in Eco mode. I usually drive in Eco mode on my commutes to work. Um, I usually drive it in eco mode plus two, and that usually gives me around 13, 13 and a half, between 13 and 13 and a half uh, miles per gallon. Now, it could be higher, but I usually drive this vehicle like a madman, admittedly, but um, for eco driving, eco mode, that setting does help with that. Now, for the next mode, you have city, and city is more for your everyday driving, um, your daily commutes, uh, everyday tasks, errands, things of that nature. Um, the throttle response obviously is higher in that mode than Eco, but it's, from my understanding, it's supposed to replicate what your throttle response would be if you had never installed the Pedal Commander. It's supposed to mimic that original throttle response, except without the lag. So you would have the same amount of throttle um, sensitivity or pressure when you step in the accelerator but it it takes the lag away so that's pretty nice it's to be something that um, people are used to in that mode um, I never used that mode I've really tested out and drove with it and it, it drives as it as it does as it says in the name um, so there's that the next up you got sport mode it in sport mode obviously in the name again it's sportier um it's for more spirited driving i usually keep mine in in sport mode i usually keep mine in sport mode plus two sensitivity and i feel like that's a sweet spot where i get a good balance of daily drive uh, daily driving use and being able to have fun because when you have it in sport mode you do it, it picks up it puts you in the back it puts you in your seat i'll say that um so that's fun and then last but not least you have the sport plus now sport plus mode on their website and from my personal experience that mode is a mode that you want to utilize if you are racing if you are not racing and if you're just trying to use that mode daily driving you will either be having to feather your accelerator at all times because that will keep you in your seat because that mode it ugh, ugh, it lurches you back hard and now I've used it, obviously I've tested it. I use it on back streets, empty back roads where there is virtually zero traffic um, just to test it out to see the response that I get, uh, the throttle response. But that mode, it, it my goodness, it, it really puts you in your seat. And it is very fun, I will say that much. So those are the different modes in the pedal commander and like i said you have eight different sensitivity levels that you can either increase it that's split in four so you have four sensitivity levels um to increase and four to decrease so that's nice that um you can change it that much um there's also an app 
with the uh, pedal commander they have an app that you can download for either iOS or Android um, I have an Android I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus 20 Ultra um, the best phone on the planet and I was just playing but I love it but um, the app it works great let's go ahead and check that app out for you guys all right now while using the pedal commander app this is the main screen when you finally connect and hook up with the Bluetooth mode um, it's off right now in order to turn it on you can either click one of the different modes or click the on button um, and it's in eco mode right now plus two sensitivity um, you can turn it down by hitting the negative button now it's plus one sensitivity now it's back to zero sensitivity so it's eco mode just plain eco mode um, you can switch through the different modes here you have city mode change it and it changes pretty quickly um it's not like a long wait or anything like that um and you can go up plus one plus two and you can go back down and you can actually decrease it so it's negative one and negative two sensitivity um and you can do that with all the different modes as well so you have sport and then you have sport Plus, you can change that sensitivity as well, like that. Over here, you have your menu button. It's to choose modes. It'll take you back to the mode selection. Um, you have your different connections here. You see I'm connected here with my Pedal Commander um, system. Um, you have your settings, which you can go through and receive notifications. You can change the background image to um, black mesh. You can change it to carbon fiber. Uh, you can change it to just plain black or you can change it to you can, uh, create yourself. You can create a custom image. And that's pretty cool. Um, if you go back, activate manual mo manual controls, um, you change the manual and keypad brightness. You turn it up, turn it down. Um, I, have my, I like to have mine up a little bit so you can actually see it. Let me go back. We can go back. To the modes so there's the app it is a pretty good app now i will say um because i want to try to be as objective as i can there was times in the beginning where the app wouldn't connect to the to the system at all like it wouldn't connect whatsoever it just the bluetooth either wasn't working wasn't connecting and it just wouldn't do it so i mean never fret if you absolutely needed to the system obviously works by just pressing the buttons themselves you do not need the app the app is just more of a convenience feature um so you don't have to you know wherever you have your actual system placed like i have mine sitting there so if you had it tucked under more if you had it somewhere else if you didn't want to reach around with you know trying to fiddle around with the app or with the um actual unit then that's where the app comes in handy but I will say it does pick and choose when it wants to connect to the um, pedal commander and for the most part it does work and when it is working it works perfectly fine there's no it the app doesn't crash it doesn't fail it doesn't cut off or anything like that it actually works um, so yeah um, there's the app all right so you guys we're gonna go ahead and get on the road we're gonna start off in eco mode and I have it in eco plus two sensitivity and we're gonna drive with that and see how it is And as expected, um, the throttle response, I don't have, I'm not slamming my foot to the floor, but I do have my foot down and the vehicle um, does not take off as hard. Um, it, it keeps you tame. I'll say that. Um, I'm going through a back road right now on my street, but even when we get on the highway, as you'll see, um, the throttle response still keeps it tame to where it's drivable. Setting off on the um, main road here in Eco Plus Two.
All right, now we got to change to city mode plus two, and we're going to go ahead and drive in that mode for a bit so you guys can see that response that we get. A little bit more response. Um, if you press that gas pedal down, it will pick it up. All right, that was city driving for you guys. Next, we have it in sport plus two. Not sport plus, but sport mode plus two sensitivity. And we're gonna test that out and see how the throttle response is on that. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it works. <laughs> ah, that was fun. That was fun, as you guys can tell, the acceleration in that mode is insane. Um, but now, we're gonna put it in Sport Plus, plus two sensitivity. you guys we are back home and as you can tell the pedal commander absolutely works it is as good as advertised so i say go ahead and get you one um, as far as my final opinion on the product it works it does what it's supposed to it's very responsive um if you need to take it off it's very easy to do the installation is easy and i will link i will link down to the install video that i have for you guys um the app is actually still it is good like i said but my only gripe with it was that sometimes it, it picks and chooses when it wants to connect to the actual pedal commander and if you can get past that you'll be just fine because when it does connect it, it works it the lag, like i said it doesn't lag out or anything it doesn't shut off or anything like that so that was my only negative about the product and more so the app but um i'm gonna leave a link down in the description for you guys to go ahead and check that out um and also too nice little plug here i'm gonna leave a link down to a friend of mine um he runs the instagram account vintage freakazoid if you guys like vintage clothing from the 90s or just clothing from you know with that nostalgic um feel to it he has it and if he doesn't have it he can find it for you guys so go ahead and tell him if you hit him up tell him the mailman sent you he would know exactly what you're talking about um so with that being said i want to say thank you guys for watching my video for those of you who are just watching my video for the first time i want to say thank you and welcome to the channel if you found this informative or helpful go ahead and subscribe subscribe for me to for more videos um and for those of you who have been watching my channel from day one i want to say thank you and you guys are much appreciated so I will check you guys in the next video. Thank you.